all about the clap back. Get your boss whack, premieres funeral on Snapchat. Ha! You now tuned into the bad guy. What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest force of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fist Unit while you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. Listen, Dwayne Haskins is a, is a bum. All right, he's a bust. He's a scrub. Get on out of here, man. Now the rumor has it reports out of Washington. Since, you know, and it's funny though, because all Haskins had to do was just go to the bench and shut the hell up, but he couldn't do that. See, Haskins wanted to pull the race car, which is a fallacy in today's NFL. He tried to say, what did his agent come out and say? Haskins' agent came out and said he got benched because he's black? Ron Rivera just had a black quarterback the entirety of his coaching career. Are you not paying attention? He had Cam Newton. Why, why, why would you think that Ron Rivera, of all the head coaches, you could have pulled the race card on? You're going to pull it on a minority? On a minority head coach who had Cam Newton? Probably the best African-American quarterback of the decade? Not named Patrick Mahomes? So it's like, come on, bro. Like, stop. Like, for real. Cut it the hell out. That's false. That's false. Haskin, you just ain't no good, bro. That's all that is. It ain't got nothing to do with the color of your skin. You're no good. Russell Wilson is black. Deshaun Watson is black. Teddy Bridgewater is black. Patrick Mahomes is black. Lamar Jackson is black. There's a plethora of black quarterbacks doing their thing in the NFL. This ain't the early 2000s. This ain't 1988. There's a lot of black. Dak Prescott over in Dallas in the same division as you. So for him to come out and try to pull the Jordan Love, they traded up to get Jordan Love at Green Bay. So for Kyler Murray in Arizona, I mean, damn, black quarterbacks just keep popping into my mind. Pause. Tua Tiger below is not black. He's a minority. So for you to pull the, 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 pull the race card, is it, it's stupid. Tyrod Taylor was the starter until he, you know, till Justin Herbert started balling. So for him to pull the race card, it's just like, it, it, it baffles my mind. Drew Brees is about to retire. Jameis Winston will be starting in New Orleans. Like, I just like, yo, like, come on, stop, bro. He, him pulling the race car was like the weakest shit ever. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. We can't do that. We can't do that. Like, nah, nah, nah. It, it, in these times and days where race is a big deal because of the president, I'm not a Republican and I'm not a Democrat. I don't care about politics. I just know that the man in office he just creates so much racial tension and i just wanted to go away because i love all people we're all human and guess what we all bleed red when we bleed we bleed the same so i don't understand what the whole race thing is i love everybody and i just want a president that preaches camaraderie and loving all people that whole you know what I'm saying so it's like in this time and era where we're in a situation in this country where we're a lot of racial tension is going on. Don't false flag the race card. Don't don't use it in in and, and it's not true. You y'all y'all get what I'm trying to say? Don't don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Don't cry wolf on the race card. Not not today. Not not today. Not today. But um the rumor with Haskins is this. He bragged about having a 300 yard passing game against the Ravens really you bragged about getting garbage time yards are you serious you can't win with that I would have benched him too how you can't win with that you're over there bragging because you had a 300 yard passing game in garbage time against the Baltimore Ravens and here's the thing Washington cockroach fans y'all have no right to get mad at Haskins because you clowns defended it I'm on Twitter, even though I'm in Twitter jail, I'm sitting here scrolling through the timeline, and there's mad people defending Haskins. Because here's the thing, when I was in Twitter jail, I could still check my DMs. So, you know, I'm going through my DMs, you know, you know, I got my shooters, my shooters keep me in a loop in my DMs, so I'm going through, checking, seeing, seeing what my shooters are telling me, you know what I'm saying, and then I'm like, 
Dwayne Haskins is trending. Did he get injured? No. People said he made improvement because he had a 300-yard passing game against Baltimore. Who was in, what, what, it prevent defense once they got up a bazillion points? They just wanted to get the game over? Stop. I would have benched them too. You can't win with a quarterback who's happy he threw 300 yards on a loss. You can't do it. That's unacceptable. You, you can't win with that. You can't coach with that. You can't do it. I want my quarterback to be depressed. I want my quarterback to act like his dog died when he loses a damn game. I want my quarterback to be angry enough to punch one of his wide receivers in the face because they ran the wrong route in the second quarter. Even though it doesn't matter, they still want to punch him in the face because they made a mistake and that could have contributed to losing. That's what I want from my freaking quarterback. I want to be hell firing brimstone after a loss. Losing is unacceptable. I don't want my quarterback bragging about a 300 yard game in 2020. 300 yard games are a dime a dozen. 300 yard games are like booties. Every girl got a booty in 2020. Any girl who won a booty in 2020 got a damn booty. So for you to be bragging about 300 yard passing games when damn near every quarterback of the league got a 300 yard passing game, is you stupid or you dumb? Pick one. Like, come on, son. For real, man. Like, it's just like, stop. Stop it. Just, just, just get him out of here, man. Let's get him out of here. And Kyle Allen's better than him anyway. I got news for you. Last year, Kyle Allen had a better year than Haskins. A lot of quarterbacks had a better year than Haskins. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, just, just enough. Enough. For real. Washington, hold the L. Juiceler Ed Oliver, hold the L. I told you, when he was drafted, rumors out of Washington with Jay Gruden, this is why Jay Gruden didn't like Haskins. Jay Gruden didn't like Haskins because Haskins didn't want to compete for the job. Haskins was a brat, and he was entitled, and he couldn't comprehend the offense. Those were the rumors coming out of Washington because everybody said Jay Gruden didn't like him. Well, allegedly, the reason why Jay Gruden didn't like him is because the reports say that the kid was a brat. He didn't want to work for the job. He felt because he was a first-round pick, he, it was his job. He didn't want to work for the job. So when it's all said and done, people, Haskins was a, was an accident waiting to happen. And you wonder why the Giants passed on him. Could you imagine this bozo in New York with the New York media? They're, they're filleting Daniel Jones. Could you imagine what the media would be doing to Dwayne Haskins right now? Like, come on, man. Stop. And, and, and here's the thing. Daniel Jones didn't have multiple four and five touchdown games. Daniel Jones had 18-point comebacks. And the media still killing him like he a bum. Could you imagine if Dwayne Haskins had had those numbers in New York? If Daniel Jones is getting murdered off of a 24 and 12 season where he had multiple four and five touchdown games and an 18 point comeback, could you imagine what the New York media would do to a bum who had what was it seven touchdowns and nine picks in in nine appearances last year? Stop it. We're done. I'm out of here. That's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.